So we've decided to try out a new park today. Yay! It's not really a park per se, like for little kids. It's more of like a small hiking area, I guess, or walking area. And they have a nice little temple towards the end of it. So yeah, we'll see what they have. So of course, since we've just had a whole lot of rain and this is a really nice shaded area it's crazy with all the mosquitoes like there's hordes of them like they've just decided to hatch all of a sudden and it's quite crazy it's like you're running away from a hive of bees or something it's whew, so many They have a nice little picnic area here, right in the middle of the trail. It's quite nice, but it would be insane to have a picnic right now because of how many mosquitoes there are. It's ridiculous. So we kind of gave up walking on the path because of how many mosquitoes there were. Like, it was ridiculous being bitten like 15 times at once. And then you would swat them away and then another 15 would come and then it just keeps repeating so yeah had to stop and get some gas we are running out of gas and now i have mosquitoes in my car and they're eating me alive because i can't get them i'm seriously just like watching them like oh my god get away from me we gave up on that park <laughs> or at least i did i was not in the mood to be eaten to death because I was already being eaten and I wasn't going to subject myself to even more. Yeah, I think we need to invest in a mosquito spray. But yeah. I need to start cooking dinner. Yay! Yeah. So for tonight's dinner, I'm going to try and make uh, sesame chicken. Yeah, it's kind of my first time making this kind of dish. I've made dishes like this, but not with fried chicken because I know I just don't have the tools and uh, things to keep the chicken uh, crispy and then coat it in the sauce. Yeah, so most of the time it ends up soggy and then I just don't want to deal with it because it doesn't taste that great because it's soggy. So I'm going to attempt it again to see maybe if it will stay at least a little crunchy and then I can put the sauce on it and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but this is the recipe I'm following. I'm actually found it on Pinterest and yeah, let's do this. So this looks easy enough to do. We'll see how it turns out. The recipe doesn't look too difficult. Pretty straightforward. It's actually doing a different type of frying the chicken than I was expecting. It's using like seltzer water and yeah. Surprisingly, a lot of people in Japan use that to cook with and not just drink, but actually cook with it. Even like they soak their steak in it to tenderize the steak. Yeah, it's quite amazing, but I don't really use it to cook. <laughs> but I did happen to have some on hand, so that's what I'm using. So I've got all of my ingredients ready. So now I'm gonna have to try and deep fry it. And I usually don't deep fry because there's so much oil involved and it's not easy to dispose of oil here. Yeah, it's not like I was back home Back home, we lived in the middle of nowhere, and if we had a lot of oil or grease left over, we would literally take it outside and dump it in the field. Yeah. 
that's how we always did it and of course living in the city you can't do that so what do you guys do when you have lots of oil or leftover grease that you can't just pour down the drain it's really bad for your drains so what do you guys do So now that the frying's done, now I've got to make the sauce. Like, basically you got to heat it up and make it thick. So that's what I'm going to do, and then you add the chicken quickly to it, and then it's ready to serve. I've just added some garlic and some more uh, sesame oil. Tonight's dinner, sesame chicken. Well, sorry about my lighting. Um, my light bulb finally left me and I need to get new ones. Yeah, well, that was a very big crowd pleaser and it was really delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed today and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.